be, be about 12% terawatt hour saving. So in total in Japan, the, we can succeed the saving the about one trillion yen, or in other words, 10 billion US dollars saved import oil and gas. It was the largest alternative energy, not the gas or not the coal or not the oil. This is the largest alternative energy. So this is a very conventional, like uh, uh, this is actually the, the right before the March 11, but one of the headquarters of the, the Kyoto, in front of the Kyoto stations. So typical, not so large scale building, old type buildings, the just reform of the, only the lighting and the air conditioning. The plan to 30% decrease, but in reality is 44% realities. Investment easily recover only two years. So those kind of uh, so-called very conventional renovations spread all over Japan within a years or two years. So it's a very, the even still energy efficient country in Japan, still we have a huge potential to that reduce the power. This is unfortunately in the Japanese case, this is German case. So the, this accumulate this kind of a small scale case in a total economy should so-called the separate of the, the ec economic growth and energy growth, or even energy and CO2 must be reduced, so-called decoupling is a key word for the more sustainable futures in uh, energy and economy. And also then renewable energy. So renewable energy is uh, abundant, is also the today any, the, all, all of the lecture GP and Gerhard already said, the almost 10,000 times of the renewable potential in a, the global scale compared to the current commercial use. And uh, like a solar is a huge potential and wind and biomass and geothermal and so on. Even Japan, so this is a Ministry of Environment in Japan studied. Uh, used to be Japan have a very the dense countries and very populated and very the, the scarce of the land. But we have, uh, we have a total 20 gigawatt electricity supply, but the, we can feasible, feasible 200, the same scale of the solar PV can install, and the, even wind is 1800 gigawatt, almost nine times of the total Japanese electricity supply capacity, we have a potential of the wind power. So maybe the Taiwan should de-investigate the, the potential of the linear energy. So, uh, so this is also the German case. How quickly renewable increase, uh, this is a solar PV. So each yellow dot is a solar PV and uh, so each uh, circle is a scale of the solar PV. Uh, from 2009 to last year, four years in one, one minute 20 second. How quickly built? So uh, this is, so like uh, the finish or cured already nine years and plus four years, plus maybe some years. So such a kind of long time nuclear, but very much quickly as, as GP already mentioned. So, uh, so this type of kind of a distributed, the small scale distributed kind of revolutions that are happening in some areas. Uh, I'll skip this. And then already you saw the renewables, the hydro is not necessarily increased, but small scale renewable sharply increase. And the nuclear is German is now gradually the decline. And Spain is also small scale renewable sharply increase, nuclear stable. And the, even China, 
the wind sharply. This is uh, uh, annual terawatt hours. Nuclear was surpassed by wind. And then now solar PV is now launch, taking off of the even in China. So uh, also this is a Japan, so-called large scale solars, so-called mega solars. So each pink dot showing mega solar. The largest ones is under construction is 250 megawatt, just one place. So, uh, so this is only one and a half years outcome. So uh, the German is uh, leading the global solar market. And then China is sharply increased. The red is uh, Japan. So we introducing feed and type the last year actually, uh, two years, year before, to 2012. So that, those last two years, last year was 6.9 gigawatt, almost seven gigawatt uh, years. But uh, so we introducing so-called feed and type for renewable. But uh, introducing seven gigawatt, but government already approved 10 times more 65 gigawatt project are already approved. So this is, those are under constructions. So huge market only, only within one and a half. Actually, if you don't tell, uh, in act is a July of the 2012. So one and a half is a very sharp increase. So uh, rooftop PV is also every four minutes increase in California. Japan is every two minutes. Bangladesh every one minute. So small scale solar PV is also the sharply increase. And some structural change is happening. Uh, not yet Japan, but uh, Japan is now struggling the base road. So conventional grid operator or monopoly uh, very strong miss to a base load by nuclear or coal. And the fluctuating solar and wind are very much troublesome. So this is idea of a conventional institutions. But the upside, things uh, must be upside down. The convention, fluctuating solar and wind must be base load or fluctuating base load or even are there ne necessary idea of base road, then as a uh, covering. So this is already Gerhardt showed the more advanced situations. So this is a Greenpeace International, the, the papers showed already the several years before. Then uh, the Agora reports say that already base road will, the idea itself disappearing the then, so this is all the kind of a, what will happen in the 12 inside of the German energy band in futures. So this is one of very good lessons of the energy futures. Another very important thing is uh, more sociological or, or democratic the trend of the so-called community power. So that in Denmark, last 30 years, a big shift. 30 years before, in 1980, is very much the similar with current Taiwan situation and current Japan situations. Very few electric company, monopolized electric company supply with a big coal powers to uh, very limited number of large scale coal power supplying electricity. But right now, the Danish energy system are completely combat into small scale distributed powers. The about 6,500 wind powers and about 1,000 CHP combined heater power, supplying heat and power. Then number is huge and also uh, the scale was so small scale and local. The point is, this time, 30 years before, 
or very much monopolized only few limited electric companies. Right now, this 6,500 wind power and 1,000 CHP, 70% are owned by local communities, local coop or farmers or ordinary peoples. Own 75% are owned by the local communities. So the owning or ownership structure completely debating or combating or changed. And each community power has a stories. So this is a, so this is a so-called Samso Island, the 4,000 4, 4, 4, people inhabitant. So, so this island challenge starting 1995 to 100% renewable within 10 years. So this is a guy of the leaders, community leader. So they installed 11 wind turbine and 10 offshore wind and also the biomass heat. So within 10 years from 4% energy can self-supplying to within 10 years, 150% the combating or transformations happening within 10 years. And all owned by island corps and operated by owned corps. So, uh, so now they are so-called learning centers, so-called Samso Energy Academy, uh, trans transfer the kind of their history and knowledge to the world. So the, now the US, UN delegation or the EU, EU delegation or the uh, Iran or the African president or investigations are uh, rushed to this island. So, uh, so those kind of uh, stories, each each stories, each story was integrated, the changing the national and global. And German is also energy corp sharply increased almost 900 right now, and 100% renewable community, are almost one fourth of the community in population or in square, the uh, pledge to combating 100% renewables. So community power by definition is a three component. One is uh, so local ownership. Local ownership very much the key of the renewable energy because uh, renewable energy use a huge the resource in uh, like land or noise or the natures or waters or and so on. So those resources must be controlled by the local. The second is uh, the community the participate and also the join the decision making is also the big key. Sometimes some areas like wind power is very annoying the community because of the noise or because of the landscape. But community power winds are very scarce for the annoying. So it is a, often the case like a nuclear waste is so-called the NIMBY, not in my backyard. But in a community wind, often the case, the so-called PIMBY, please in my backyard or put in my backyard. So, and then third component is uh, the benef benefit. Economical and sociological benefit must come back to the local. So this is uh, the community power. It's now also happening in Japan. So this is a Fukushima. The Fukushima Prefecture pledge 100 percent renewable by 2040, right after March 11. This is uh, all the governors, local Congress, and the Fukushima. All the people very agree to 100 percent renewable. So this is a guy of the Japanese traditional sake brewery. He is uh, ninth generations of the sake brewery <laughs> of the 230s history they have. He is the leader of our Fukushima community power, one of. So he is cheerleading to taking off the 100% renewables and starting with the participatory manners is starting with a four megawatt 
solar, distributed for mega solar. The Fukushima people invest these companies and uh, this community bond. So this is a very, the one of the success stories. So those kind of stories are uh, spread all over Japan right after March 11th. Now, between the 500 to 1,000 community power rising after March 11th. So, uh, so many people are very much encouraged to joining this movement, not just a demonstration. They are more democratic participate with their own community to self-supplying the power. So uh, we, Japan, is 2012 start to renewable feed and tariff. Was so succeed in so far, we have another problem, but uh, anyway. And then in 2016, supposed to be an electricity market open for the com competition, including household. Then, to 2018, unbundling will happen. So, um, so Japanese, the kind of March 11th, shock to the kind of a Japanese conservative energy uh, like societies uh, break up. So now our start to uh, change. So. You Taiwan's are uh, already many times mentioned that you you you, are, you have a GDP about the four four hundred seventy four billion US dollars, but you use a few import uh, about GDP ten percent. So this is uh, not a gaining GDP. This is a loss of GDP. So if you 